Oh, Karen. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Jean Christophe Novelli. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I have been told that you had a, a bit of bad time recently. Yeah. And I am here to give you a bit of uh, comfort to cheer you up. Can I come in? You can come yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> you can come in. Listen, when I saw Jean Christophe standing there, it was just like I'm, I'm dreaming. Why is he knocking on my door? What is he doing in Colchester? You, you recently went through a, a bad patch. Yeah, our um, pet Rottweiler, he was six and a half years old and over Christmas he was diagnosed with bone cancer. And uh, we had to make that inevitable decision really to have him put to sleep. Well, Karen, I am here to cheer you up and I am here to, to cook you one of my most fabulous recipes, which is a lamb cutlet, roasted and glazed with some blue cheese, served with some celeriac and potato smash. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. That's great. That's one of my favourite slam. Now it's time to cook this amazing recipe for Karen. First, we need to prepare the meat. We've got this amazing rack of lamb. We're going to trim the cutlets. Anything you buy, make sure you do not compromise the quality. If you are dealing with quality, it should be very easy to remove the bones. Use your knife and you, you scrap like this. Remove all the skins. What you need to do next is very important, is to marinate the meat. Sea salt and the black pepper. Next, cumin. Lamb adore cumin. And cumin adore lamb. We're going to use some nutmeg and just trim it at the last minute. The next is bay leaves. Just use about two leaves. There is no cooking without garlic. And I can say as a Frenchman, I should know better. A little bit of a crunch like this. Some olive oil. With a cling film, just keep everything tight. And then leave it in your fridge. And the longer you leave it, and more flavor you get. The second stage is the celeriac and potato smash. I mean, I have to say, there's nothing sexy about the celeriac, but it's probably the most delicious vegetable that you can actually enjoy. Use a sharp knife. Don't chop too thin. Now, let me give you another tip. Or the only way you can boil your celeriac is using milk. Just normal milk. Then add a little bit of salt, black pepper, always a little bit of sugar. This will give that amazing, tiny little sweetness to your dish. One third of the mash is made from the potatoes to two thirds of celeriac. I've got some amazing time. Look at the beauty, it's so beautiful. Why? Because I kept them in the water. Cold, clean water. With the thyme, some bay leaves. Bring this to the stove and let it simmer for a good 35 minutes. Right, now it's time to make the chicken mousse. Little bit of garlic. Mix everything together. So what we need is an egg, just break the egg white like this. You have to have fresh double cream. Look at this. Wow, the flavor is unbelievable. Chicken mousse on the top. And what we need next is to introduce the most amazing, the most powerful blue cheese on earth, Roquefort. Again, use some fresh herbs, tarragon, has these incredible flavors. A touch of black pepper, a little bit of the oil from the marinade, some aluminum, like this, up to the bone. Take your cutlets. Ooh! Shallots, never forget your herbs. Thyme, the leaves, a little bit of garlic for the, for the flavors. Stick this in oven for eight minutes. Now the potatoes and the celeriac are finally cooked. What we're going to do now is to introduce some butter. Would you like to, to do it yourself? And what is very important now is to mash it when it's still warm. Look at that, this amazing flavor is coming from the celeriac, which is absolutely wonderful. Mm. That's even too good for words. You like that? Mm. Fantastic. Here we are just perfectly cooked. The smell of the lime is unreal. Look at this beautiful lamb cutlet. Bon appétit. Oh, wow. Look at this amazing. Wow, that looks fantastic. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Chin chin. Chin chin. To have John Christophe in my kitchen cooking me a meal it just doesn't happen, but it did. <laughs>
I think we definitely managed to cheer up Karen today. I think we managed to make her feel very happy and also uh, feeling better. Just lifts everything. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, 